So everybody knows what these are. We use them on a daily basis. Uh, any type of connecting link. Uh, here we have carabiners. Um, you know, everybody has a ton of these things laying around. With any type of gear, uh, it's always important to always remember to revert back to the instruction manual and warnings that come directly from the manufacturer. Each manufacturer may have a little bit of a different twist on inspection and maintenance, so it's up to the individual to make sure you know for each piece of gear that you have those records um, and you, you follow the manufacturer's recommendations. Uh, but here are a few examples of what to look out for. Uh, here this is a pulley, but you can see the type of corrosion. Um, anything like this, you need to dispose of it, field destroy, um, retire this immediately. <clears throat> Any type of deformity, um, markings, although they may seem insignificant at the time, if it's going to interfere with the rope or cut strands or prematurely wear the rope, then sub to the individual, but you may want to go ahead and retire that piece of gear. Here's a, a great example of a carabiner that uh, from, from the outside and from inspection looks good, uh, performs like it should. However, if you take the time and actually release the gate slowly, you'll see that the gate doesn't return back to the closed position that it's intended to do. So that would be a fail. Um, you know, this may be a simple maintenance issue, but again, revert back to the manufacturer's specifications on maintenance. Um, if you find any piece of gear that you're questionable about, the best thing to do is go ahead and retire it. If you decide to retire it, quarantine it, you need to field destroy. And when you field destroy something, you need to make sure that you destroy it in a manner that if somebody came along, they're not going to pick this back up and then put it back into their climbing gear or their rigging setup. So you want to cut it, smash it with a hammer, make it to where it doesn't function at all so that somebody else doesn't pick it back up. Um, <clears throat> but uh, you know, with any gear, it's going to be up to the individual, but always follow your gut, trust your instinct, and uh, when in doubt, just replace.